Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. It's that time of the month again. It's the beginning of August, and it's time for the boom boxes. We have $500 worth of boom boxes right here. They range from the mid-end box, which is a $90 box, to the platinum boom box, which is $140 to the big kahuna here, the elite boom box, $260. The quality of the packs increases as you go up the rungs on the pricing ladder. So let's go ahead and get started. If you'd like to pick up a boom box for yourself, their website will be put on the screen here in just one second. We've had some big hits out of the boom box recently with some madly Rushman pulls. And here is that information if you'd like to pick up a boom box for yourself. Their website is theoriginalboombox.com. They are running an Otani ticket promo. Just hit his 40th home run the other day where they're giving away a Shohei Otani PSA 10 2018 rookie card to one lucky subscriber to the Boombox. You can see some of the featured packs. I usually like to pull the packs out and be surprised by them, and I got a little sneak peek at that list that there's Chrome in here, which is awesome. Love tops Chrome. So in the first pack, the $90 box, you can see there's a 2019 Bowman Hobby Pack in there, which is really nice. Some really great players in there to go after, like Wander Franco, J-Rod, and then we've got the Topps Chrome Update Hobby Pack. There's a Jumbo Pack of Topps Series 2. We have our Hobby Pack of Chrome. Very nice. I'm, I'm guessing this is going to be Chrome heavy. These releases, yes, indeed. There's a Jumbo Pack of Chrome and a Heritage High Number Pack as well. So that's your lineup for the $90 boom box, let's go ahead and start ripping some packs and see how many we can find. I usually tell you how many autographs I think we're going to find. I'm going to go ahead and guess four today. Let's see if we can hit that number. John Aheim, rookie, and we've got an upside down Andrew Vaughn. It's going to be a parallel right there or some sort of, I guess it's the, what does it say on the back? I can't even read it. It's a really small variation there in the corner. Action variation parallel of Andrew Vaughn. Not a bad start. Jared Kelnick, rookie card as well in that pack. Moving on to the next one, we'll go with the good old 2022 Chrome Update Pack. which doesn't give us anything there for a minute there. I drew a blank. I was like, what is this that I'm opening? All right, so we'll go to the Jumbo Pack next of Series 2. Got a one in three and a third chance of getting a hit in this. Let's see what we can find. Some of you might be tired of Series 2, but you still have a couple more months with it. Tops Update comes out in October. I'm not tired of Series 2 yet. I'm still enjoying it. We have a potential hit right here. It's going to be a Silver Pack. Rookie card of Shintaro Fujinami. And unfortunately, there's not going to be a hit in this one. But I'm excited for the Chrome packs. There's the Yoshida rookie card in there. The Chromes, very nice to find, have a chance to find some of those really nice rookies. There's a lot of good rookies in the set. And to find them with some color on them, that would be nice. Finding autographs is a little tougher with 2023, as you might know. As they have reduced the number of autos per pack in the hobby packs down to one. That was the pack we just opened. And the jumbo, which we're opening right now, to three. Still pretty good odds, all things considered, in the jumbo pack. One in four chance of finding an autograph. Just Mike Trout. And, hey, we've got a Michael Harris Prism Refractor rookie card right there. That's a good one. And there's a nice refractor of Laddie's. So very, very nice. And I saved this one for last. I believe this one's probably going to be the best pack or have the highest upside. Let's see what we can find. we got a Kyle Tucker rookie card. Not too bad. So no autographs yet. We've got a numbered card here. It's going to be Ryan Weathers out of 299. So, unfortunately, there's Christian Javier, first Bowman, which is, isn't bad either. So, we've got some nice rookies in there, but we did not hit an autograph. It's not always all about the autographs. Sometimes it's just fun to open packs. So, 
Let's go to the next one. It's going to be the Platinum Boombox. It's a $140 Boombox. And I'd also like to remind you, before I rip into that, we'll be ripping into this. It is a 2011 Topps Update Box. And we're doing it on Mike Trout's birthday. Mike Trout's birthday is coming up August 7th. That's this Monday. We'll be doing it live. If you'd like to grab a spot in that break, I have them for sale on Patreon. I'm selling it by the pack and also by the five card lot to make it a little more affordable just breaking the packs down five cards at a time all right so now let's get into the next box here in these boom boxes it is the platinum boom box let's hope it's gonna be something nice what do we got all right so let's take a look at the packs first before looking at the cheat sheet got our one touch right here and we go back and get a pack of Series 2 from 2022, which gives us a shot at the J-Rod short print. We have a jumbo pack of Chrome. We've got a jumbo pack of Series 2. We've got a hobby pack of Chrome. And then here's your big boy pack. You've got a jumbo pack of 2019 Bowman Draft. And also, there's a pack of 2023 Finest in there. So definitely some nice packs in that lineup. We'll start off with the low pack in the totem pole these packs probably about four to five dollars a pack 2022 top series two and let's see what we can get there's ryan sandberg 87 style card unfortunately no big hits no autographs yet today we're kind of in a in a rut so far sometimes you just don't hit any autos i hope we're not in a in a slump here we had the big Ken Griffey Jr. throwback Thursday last night with the 89 upper deck box and didn't freaking find him. There's Corbin Carroll. So if we don't hit any autographs, we're officially going to be in a slump after being on fire for a while. Things will heat back up, though. All right, so we've got our hits here. They're upside down. It's going to be a gold card of Luis Liberato, numbered to 2023, and Victor Reyes. It's going to be a silver foil card. So we're going to need the Chrome Packs to come through for us. We also have the Finest Pack. There's Jordan Walker's rookie card. Get that one over there in the sleeve pile. Spencer Steer's having a great season. Kind of gets overlooked because of the other great rookies out in Cincinnati, like Ellie De La Cruz and Matt McClain. A lot of guys in Cincinnati getting overlooked, like TJ Friedel and Jake Fraley. Some people call him Rake Fraley. Yeah, that uh, guy that nobody wanted in Seattle, at least... You didn't want his autograph. Remember we were pulling Jake Fraley autographs all the time, like 2020. We're like, who is this bum? Now he's doing pretty darn well. But anyway, here's the uh, odds of the uh, top featured packs. Same deal with the Lynx and also the Otani promo that's running there. All right, so let's go ahead and try the finest pack next. About a one in six chance of an autograph in this. And... Struck out again. There's Riley Green rookie card. I like that one. I'll get that one in the sleeve. Let's do the Chrome Hobby Pack next. It might be the Elite Box that saves this video, although getting four autographs looks like almost an insurmountable task now. I don't think it's going to happen. Nothing going on there. And our Jumbo Pack. By the way, got a. probably should go back and make sure I didn't miss any Otanis and Acunas in here because of the MVP buyback program. There's Adley Rushman. Nice rookie card right there. And there's Raphael Devers. We got Hunter Brown, rookie card negative. Titans card and Raphael Devers refractor in there also. So we're down to the last pack in the Platinum $140 boom box. It's a jumbo pack of Bowman Draft from 2019. Let's see if we can find any Adley Rushmans. Here we go. We've got Braden Shoemake leading things off. There's Wander Franco prospect card. That's a nice one. C.J. Abrams first Bowman card. Another nice one. How about a Corbin Carroll first Bowman? So we're on a roll here with some nice first Bowmans and prospects. Here we get to the Chromes. Still no autograph. There's a sky blue of Matthew Thompson. It's not numbered. The papers are numbered to four ninety nine. The chromes are not. And it looks like we're going to strike out again when it comes to autographs. 
Check the bottom half of this pack here. Bunch of firsts. There's J-Rod prospect card. Jared Kelnick prospect card. Michael Bush. All right. So, so far, uh, the $500, we've seen about half of it spent. And we haven't come up with any huge hits yet. But we're only technically halfway through the total value in these boom boxes. This is where... Half of the value in all the cards open today is going to fall. It's a $260 box, and uh, it's usually known for having some really big hits in here. Typically, the highest end packs are in here. We've seen packs of tribute in here in the past, packs of museum collection, and so on. Let's see what we've got in the August boom box. Here we go. So inside, we have our One Touch, and we've got a Chrome Hobby Pack. It's a Jumbo Pack. There's a Sapphire Pack right there. We've got an Allen & Ginter Pack. Allen & Ginter will be coming out soon, right around the corner, sometime this month. I don't think we have an official release date yet. We've got a Jumbo Pack of Bowman, another Chrome Hobby Pack, and there it is. That's the big boy pack. A tribute pack, which has a guaranteed relic or autograph in there. So that's what we wanted to see. Now let's go ahead and see what we can find in here. And let's go ahead and take a look real quick at the featured packs in the Elite Boom Box, along with the other information there, which was the same as the other couple. We'll start off with the low-end pack, Allen & Ginter Hobby Packs. You know, probably about $5 a pack. Let's see what we can find. And we have a hit in it. We're going to get a relic hit in here coming up. Looks like it's going to be Verdugo. It's going to be Alex Verdugo game used jersey. So no autographs yet, but we do get our first official hit in a relic of Alex Verdugo. Not too bad. Next, I think we'll go ahead and try. Let's do the Bowman pack. Bowen Pack, one in four chance of finding an autograph and see if we can find any Junior Camineros or Drew Jones cards. There's Vaughn Grissom. Tristan Casas, rookie card. And the good stuff's going to be at the bottom if we're going to have anything in here. Got all the paper out of the way. And unfortunately, nothing too crazy. Not even a numbered card or parallel. We'll try the Chrome. Chrome hasn't really been good to us in this video. Looks like maybe the best pack is going to be the last pack, which is going to be that tribute pack. Nothing going on in that hobby pack. Try the Jumbo pack next. Andrew McCutcheon leads it off. There's Jose Ramirez. Cody Clemens is there. There's Jordan Alvarez. There's another Yoshida rookie card, Joe Ryan, and Corbin Burns. So Chrome just not uh, participating in this one, sitting on the sidelines today. We've got a Sapphire pack, Bowman Sapphire from 2023, which is a nice high-end pack. Dan Frias is going to start us off first, Colby Thomas first, Luis Rodriguez first, and Robert Perez. So... All first Bowman cards, not too bad. All right, here's the here's the pack of the video. It's the tribute pack has a guaranteed hit inside of it. Let's see what it's gonna be. Be nice if it was a Freddie Freeman autograph, and it's a Bryce Harper relic, a dual relic Bryce Harper with two pinstripes numbered to seventy-five, and that will be the final hit. So, folks, oftentimes we find. Two, three, four, sometimes five. I think maybe once we had six autos. We didn't get a single autograph in this edition of the Boombox for August. Although we did get two relics and a couple nice first Bowmans. Unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. You've heard us say it before. Sometimes opening a box of cards or a pack of cards is like buying a lottery ticket. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. And uh, unfortunately, this time we just came away with... A minimal return there, but it was still fun to rip open. And I guess one good thing about having some below average boom boxes in this video.
just means that other boxes out there, those are the ones that got the hit. So it raises the chances of you guys getting them, I guess. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday. Check us out on our next live stream. We'll be back on Sunday with the live auction on Sunday night. We'll be back on Monday live as well with that 2011 Tops Update Jumbo Box break celebrating Mike Trout's birthday. We'll try to get Mike Trout on the line and get him, get him to come in and chat with us. We've sent him some messages before and said, hey, if you want to stop by, we're looking for your rookie card tonight. I don't think he's got anything better to do. He's, he's on, uh, on the injured list. That'd be cool if he stopped by. And uh, Tuesday, we'll have our team break Tuesday, breaking a whole bunch more chrome and Bowman and other stuff. So thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your Friday night, and I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.